When things can't get worse and all seems at an end, that's when a cub finds a real friend. Hut, hut! I got it! I got it! I... Oh, oh! Ah, crumb. It's mine! It's mine! It's, mine. it's, it's yours. yours! We need a lot of work. We'll try it again after school. You're well done. Think the team stands a chance of winning against the Bay City Boons this year, brother? It's not about winning, Freddy. It's about not getting creamed like we did last year. And the year before that. Oops. Sorry I mentioned it. Hello, Cubs. Hey, who's that with Professor Actual Factual? It's his nephew. Today's his first day at our school. We promised the professor we'd show him around. Brother, sister, cousin Fred, this is Ferdy. He'll be staying with me a while. Hi. Hello. Hi, Ferdy. Even someone as unversed as I in the field of athletics can discern from the performance that I just witnessed that your football team is, well, bad. Well then, have fun. I'm certain you'll all become the best of chums. You're gonna like it here, Ferdy. Yes, it's a great school. All the teachers and cubs are really nice. I'm terribly glad you're delighted with your educational standards, but I rather doubt they will satisfy mine. I'm accustomed to a far superior institution of learning. <laughs> well, so, uh, I guess the sports teams at your other school were far superior too. I suppose. I'm not a sports fan, so I never wasted my time getting involved in those silly games. Well, Coach Brown says a healthy body leads to a healthy mind. <laughs> Wrong. If that were the case, weightlifters would become rocket scientists. A well-developed brain is all that counts. And I think the ones that I've been exposed to so far could use a lot more development. Class, we have a new student, Ferdy Factual who I know you will all... Ahem. Uh, yes, Ferdy? Actually, the correct word is not who, but whom. <gasps> You're right, Ferdy. I stand corrected. He actually corrected Teacher Bob? Three times. Well, Professor Factual did say Ferdy was very smart. He knows a lot of words, Papa. Mostly mean ones. And every time you think he can't say anything meaner, he does. Perhaps he's just not the kind of cub who makes friends easily. Some folks take longer to get to know. I know all I need to know about Ferdy Factual. He's a stuck-up, smarty-pants know-it-all. And... Oh, pass the potatoes, please. Sometimes new cubs feel uncomfortable around other cubs. Mama's right. And instead of shying away, they're rude or they show off. It's just their way of dealing with their feelings. <sighs> I guess, but somebody else can babysit him. But you two promised Professor Actual Factual you'd look out for his nephew. But that was before. Still, a promise is a promise. All right, we'll try. But it won't be easy. Here are your tests back. I guess this is why some cubs study. Congratulations, Ferdy. You got 100%. I believe that should be 101%, since there were two possible answers for the last question, and I gave both. Oh, oh boy. boy. Brother. Hey, Ferdy. You want to come play monkey in the middle with us? Thank you all the same, but I'm playing a much more interesting game with a much more interesting opponent. Chess? But who's your much more interesting opponent? Of course. Hey, look it!
That new cub is playing checkers against himself. I guess that way he can't lose. I bet if Scuzz played against himself, he'd still lose. <laughs> if you teach me how to play, uh, I'd be happy to. First thing you must always remember is that chess is all about simple strategy. Defeating your opponent by outthinking them and outmaneuvering them. <laughs> hey, Ferdy. <laughs> Do you want to come back to my place for milk and cookies? Can't. I have homework to do. Oh, gee, that's too bad. <laughs> you sound devastated. Sorry I'm late. No problem. Did you bring your math book? Looks like Queenie's got herself a math tutor. That's going to keep Ferdy real busy. Yay! Yay! Whole sardine and onion, trading for half a peanut butter and jelly. Any takers? Anyone? So the queenie is the most important chess piece? That's queen, next to the king, yes. You sure you heard her say that? Positive. Then I think we have to tell him. He won't listen. And anyway, the more time he spends with queenie, the less time you have to spend with him. Well, I know, but it's just not right. We have to tell him. That's what a friend would do. What? <sighs> okay, Ferdy, here it is. Queenie's only pretending to be your friend to get your homework answers. <laughs> you expect me to believe that? That's ridiculous. It's true, Ferdy. I heard her telling Too Tall. She's giving him the answers, too. You're wrong. A smart cub like me would never allow a thing like that to happen. Told ya. I don't get it. Quinny pretends to be his friend. We're really trying to be his friends. And we're the ones he ignores. How can somebody so smart be so dumb? Ferdy knows a lot of things, but I don't think he knows very much about friends. Guess you'll just have to find out about Queenie the hard way. Remember to keep an eye on your knight. <sighs> I got it! Go for a long one, Tuta! <laughs> nice one, Tuta! <laughs> hey, brother! Huh? Throw it to me! No, it's okay. You don't want it, Ferdy. I most certainly do. <laughs> After all, how difficult can it be? Football is merely a synthesis of physics, aerodynamics, and hand-eye coordination. Come on, just throw it to him and get it over with. We gotta get to practice. Do it, brother. I insist. Okay, here you go. Nothing to it, I'm sure. Oh, oh, Bertie! <laughs> Are you okay? Yes. <laughs> Nice catch there, Ferdinand. <laughs> Sorry, Ferdy. I didn't throw it hard. You weren't watching. Hey, maybe I'll do that when we play the bulldog. <laughs> Don't listen to them. <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Ferdy, wait! <sighs> we tried to tell him. <sighs> he didn't listen. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Ferdy! Uh. 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 Everything's against me, even gravity. <sighs> Ferdy, for once in your life, you're totally wrong about something. You think everyone's against you because you're smart, but you're wrong. It's just that. You use your smarts to make everyone else feel dumb. We try to be your friends, but you won't let us. The only one against you is you. So, how would you suggest I change that? Theoretically speaking. Sometimes the best way to make friends is to be one, Ferdy. Sort of like what you're doing now? Uh-huh. Thank you, brother. Uh-oh, I'm late. If we don't figure out some new plays, we're gonna get creamed by the bulldogs just like last year. Maybe I can help. <laughs> Thanks, but...
Catching the ball with your stomach definitely won't work. <laughs> <laughs> no, you handle the ball. Let me take care of the strategy. I can help you figure out some winning moves. I'm really sorry for laughing at you, Ferdy, and for pretending to be your friend to get the homework answers from you. My marks were low and... Apology accepted, Queenie. And if you'd like some extra help with the homework problems, that would be nice. And if Too Tall's interested, I think he'd appreciate the help too. Oh look, another one of my plays. Hut, hut! <laughs> <laughs> All right, yes! I call that one Ferdy's Up and Over Easy Play. Checkmate. We win. Nice going, Ferdy. Those surprise plays were amazing. Basic strategy. Outthinking and outmaneuvering your opponent. Tell that to the Bulldogs. Forget that. We'll show them again next year. We owe you a lot of thanks, Ferdy. Don't mention it. After all, what are friends for? When a cub finds out that someone's in need, it feels really nice to do a good deed. I hope we get to Freddy's before they pick teams for basketball. Me too. I don't want to be on the losing side again. Hey, wait up! Good morning, Cubs. Hi, Winner Jones. What happened? This old tree limb broke off in the wind last night. <clears throat> oh. Mm. Oh. I'll move it for you. I can help, too. Uh. My goodness. Aren't you a couple of strong cubs? Uh. This is easy. Uh. Yep, it's a piece of cake. Mr. Brown will be so tickled to get this. He's always on the lookout for wood to burn in his fireplace. You were taking this to Mr. Brown's house? On Maple Street? Yes. I hope that's not too much trouble for you. Um, no. It's not too much trouble, is it, brother? No, we can do it. Come on, sis. Let's get this thing delivered. Thank you, Cubs. Uh, you're welcome. Phew, that was our good deed for the day. <laughs> That's our good deed for the week. I hope we aren't going to be late for basketball. Even if we are a bit late, I'm glad we helped out. Me too. Come on, let's hurry. Where did that come from? Weird. Look! Oh dear, what will I do now? Hi! My, didn't the two of you come along in the nick of time? We did? My cart's out of commission and I need someone to deliver this hot meal to Marjorie Brewster. Her hips been acting up again. Hey! Mrs. Brewster's house is on the way to Freddy's. Come on, sis. It's Operation Meals on Heels. <laughs> Thank you ever so much. No problem, Witter Jones. See you later. We'll have this delivery done in no time. Oh, Cubs. Could you please bring me back those containers after she's finished eating? I'd really appreciate it. Boy, Mrs. Brewster sure is a slow eater. <laughs> it's because she talks about her grand cubs between every spoonful. We'll be lucky if we get to Freddy's before the game is over. I know. We don't have time to do any more errands. We'll just leave this stuff on Witter Jones's doorstep. She'll see it. Sure. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come to Witter Jones. Oh, the poor thing. <laughs> oh, isn't this splendid? My favorite cubs have come to the rescue again. Come to the rescue? Or, I should say, Fluffy's rescue. Meow. 
don't worry, Witter Jones. We'll get Fluffy down. It's wonderful having cubs like you in the neighborhood. There you go, Fluffy. Good kitty. Climb down. Come on. Come on. Ah! Yay! Hey, you did it! Well done. Could you please get Fluffy off me? Here's your cat, Witter Jones. Oh, Fluffy isn't my cat. He isn't? No, he belongs to the Bearsons. You mean the Bearsons who live past the library? That's right. I'll give them a ring and tell them you're on your way. They'll be just thrilled to have Fluffy back home. I'm so pleased brother and sister were able to help you out. Uh-huh. Oh, yes, I'll be sure to tell them. Oh, hold on. They just came in the door. Would you like to speak to one of them? All right. It's Widder Jones. <gasps> you talk to her. Huh? No way. I don't want to talk to her. What's gotten into you two? Yes, Widder Jones thinks the world of you cubs. <sighs> Hello. Oh, you're welcome. I... Next Saturday? Uh, um. Well, actually, sister and I were. Um... Yes, uh. We'll help you clean out your attic. <laughs> okay. Bye. Aww. I was supposed to play at Lizzie's on Saturday. And I told Lenny I'd come over and check out his new video game. Those things can always wait until another time. I'm sure Lenny and Lizzie will understand. You know, you two should be very proud of yourselves. Helping others is a tradition that Bear Country was built on. But we already helped out for a whole afternoon. Come on, sis. Let's go do something fun before it gets dark. You know, it's been years since I've been in this attic. Goodness, there's so much up here. It's hard to know where to start. We're cleaning up all this? It'll take all day. If we move some of these things out of the way, we'll have a spot to sort things into a keeper pile and a pile for the yard sale next Saturday. Yard sale? Next Saturday? Uh, we're going somewhere that day, aren't we? Uh, right. We're going... away. So, we won't be around to help out <laughs> at all. Oh, don't you worry. I'll be able to manage on my own. Come on, sis. Let's get to work. Gee, Witter Jones, you sure like birds a lot. I was the bird lady in this neighborhood. Really? Uh-huh. Anytime someone found a sick bird, they'd bring it to me to nurse back to health. Cool dress. Oh, that's my old candy striper uniform. Candy striper? That's what they call the young volunteers who help at the hospital. You might as well put this dress in the yard sale pile. <laughs> I'm a little too old for that job now. Whose team is this? That's a picture of the Bear Country Homers. We were league champs two years in a row. That was the finest team I ever coached. That's you? Mm-hmm. And there's someone else in the picture you might recognize, too. There is? Who? The cub in the front row here. That's your mama. No way! Wow! She's just a cub. You know, I think I just might hang this downstairs in the parlor. Wow, check out this old radio. Hey, it still works. Good morning from the station that gets you shaking, Bear Country Rock. And now a new hit from the Buster Bruin Band, Back Scratching Boogie. All right. <laughs> yeah, <woo -hoo> -hoo. <laughs> Come on, Winter Jones. Dance with us. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> You're doing great. Uh-oh. <laughs> it used to do that back in the 50s, too. That's why I put it up here. Oh, I can't put that old thing in my yard sale. Gee, you'll be rich when you sell all this stuff. Oh, I'm not keeping the money for myself. I'm donating it to the library. Phew, <laughs> I don't know if it's hot up here or if I was dancing too hard. Oh, I think I need some lemonade. Would you two like some? That would be great. Yes, please. Widder Jones is really nice, isn't she? And she's always doing things for everybody else. It won't be easy for her to get all this stuff outside by herself next weekend. I know. Are you doing anything important next Saturday? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I'm helping out a neighbor at her yard sale. Me too. It's a real antique. Witter Jones says it's nearly as old as she is. Oh, well, it certainly is comfortable. I think I'll take it. It's Witter Jones's old glove. She used to coach the Bear Country Homers. Is that so? You have yourself a deal. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. Pretty soon there won't be anything left to sell. I know. It feels good helping Witter Jones. I like doing this. Me too. The library is going to be very pleased indeed. I don't know how I'll ever thank you. We're the ones who should be thanking you. Thanking me? For what? For teaching us about helping others. Judging by what good helpers you are, I'd say I did a pretty good job. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Fluffy. What's he doing back here? Come on, sis. Looks like we've got some more work to do. <laughs> <laughs>